Hi there everybody my name is Ali and today I will be going to solve OS command injection lab number 3 from web security academy and this one is again blind OS command injection with output redirection so it will be just a little bit uh, advancement of my previous lab so let's see how we can solve this one so that being said let's jump in now coming to the lab over here the third one is blind OS command injection with output redirection and coming to the lab it says this lab contains a blind OS command injection vulnerability in the feedback function. The application executes a shell command containing the user supply details. The output from the command is not returned in the response. However, you can output read action to capture the output from the command. And there is a writable folder at this one. So they have provided us the writable folder. So the first thing which comes into my mind is that, okay, if I have a command injection, what I can do is I can execute a command in the backend, output it into a file where I can write and then if see if it is publicly available then I can have a command injection so, so it says to solve the lab execute who am I command and coming to the lab right over here this is the lab again if I come back to my submit feedback I am having the things over here and again there are name just like previous lab so I'll just fill test at test.com in the email and test over here as well submit feedback and come to verb suite this is the post request and just like the previous lab uh, the email parameter was vulnerable to blind injection so hopefully i think so uh, it will be again vulnerable in this one as well so i will just save a little bit of time and not test all the other parameters i will test this one so our initial period was in between or sign so it like this so two times because in the beginning and in the ending as well we need to do or and let's try to see how we can try to figure this thing out so if i type in who am i not working if i try to do ping dash c localhost for let's say 10 seconds or let's say 5 seconds let's see if this blind injection is working or no so send and blind injection is working right over here but now i need to escalate it a little bit to see my, the output of command so what i can try to do is i have figured out somehow let's say right now in this lab but let's say in originally i figured out that there is writable folder so i will go and try to put my files into this one so how i can do that one is if i type in who am i my output is not showing me onto my screen right but uh, let's say yes so right now my output is not showing me onto my screen so what i can try to do here is let's see send yes so now what i can try to do over here is if i do who am i and output it to any file so i know there is a writable directory in var www images and i can output into a file called abc.txt like this so again i need to url encode this one control u send and now if it worked my output would have been stored of who am i into abc.txt file now the question is that i need to go into images abc.txt and see if it works so if i try to go over here and if i do images slash abc.txt send it says not found so i need to find out the way to get to that one so the best thing which i like to do is where are the assets of this web application stored so i'll come back there are a lot of images right over here if i view the page source i should see some images so and there you go oh here it is slash image question mark file name is equal to 31.jpg and 31 image is this one so if i try to remove 31.jpg and do abc.txt enter and there you go my who am i command output is right over here and this is how we can try to do blind injection by writing output into a file and accessing it publicly and this solves our lab as well 
So that was all about this video. I hope you will like it and I will see you in the next video. Take care. Bye.